Hey guys, it's Amanda here and today I want to talk about morning rituals. Um, anything I've ever been through in my life, um, whether it's recovering from illness, um, trying to overcome adversity, getting through changed, um, trying to be a better version of myself, um, trying to kick ass at work, um, it is all about elevating my energy. And when I elevate my energy to be more up and higher, um, I'm in my most malleable state. Um, as opposed to when I feel stuck or sad or fearful, you will notice it feels more dense inside of your body, which is not your most malleable state. And you're not going to be able to um, be open to change as much as if you were more elevated. So everything I do in the morning is all about trying to elevate my energy, which will then translate to more flexible thoughts, um, more uh, flexible um, dialogue, um, and I'm able to see my situation with new and fresh eyes, excellent for um, work because I can see um, things with different perspectives, I can open um, up to new opportunities, um, and I can problem solve um, much faster. Um, but also in my personal life, it's actually a really great thing to be able to master this flexibility in um, our mindset, but also in our lives. So in the morning, you know, I wake up and I usually wake up, um, I, I always wake up without an alarm and um, I wake up naturally, usually, I don't know, anywhere between 6.30 and 7 a.m., depending on the dogs and how noisy they are. But I wake up naturally and uh, I make sure I nourish my body on a cellular level with lots of hydration, um, a really beautiful um, breakfast um, of whole foods um, and sometimes I'll skip breakfast and fast and um, that's also great for elevating energy. And then I'll make sure I have a beautiful routine of movement. Movement's really important on the days where I'm feeling maybe a little bit tired or extra stress stressed I will move into restorative exercise so simply walking the dogs um, Tai Chi is also excellent um, low impact yoga uh, yin yoga um, and Pilates or even swimming actually and um, on the days where I feel really energized I will you know motivate myself and go into uh, strength and endurance training so I love Pilates I love um, flow yoga as well and functional training as well um, to build um, strength and endurance and muscle. So it's really important to um, create that flexibility in your mindset so you are in your most malleable state. Um, and when you exercise your chi, you are also adjusting your behavior. Because in Chinese medicine, we associate our organs with our emotions uh, and also our habits and behaviors. Um, so after I finish my movement and my nourishment food um, um, segment in the morning, um, I will focus on mindset and that's where I will journal, which is a great way of emptying my mind and getting all of my thoughts and positive affirmations and intentions, but also any negativity that I want to flush out of my mind or things that I'm working through out, out, out of my head and onto paper. Um, and then I will, um, of course, meditate. Um, and I'll think of what I'm grateful for, which allows you to notice more of that around you. So jump on this week's blog and check out an awesome morning ritual that'll literally allow you to get through anything. See you next week.